This is unmistakably the western edge of America. From the Golden Gate Bridge into burgeoning Marin County, marked by the thousands of boats that ply the peaceful waters of San Francisco Bay and the architectural magic of a Frank Lloyd Wright. Rolling hills and velvet greenery. Wildflowers and old scraggly oak trees marking the landscape. This is a quiet country, famous for its grapes, its sheep, and its dairyland. Sonoma County, north of San Francisco. The Petaluma Argus Courier is the link to the outside world, the informer on man's adventures all the way to the moon, his troubles, and his foibles. The people work hard, but they enjoy it. A place for quiet meditation, where the song of the mockingbird is the most obvious sound of all, normally. But not today. On ABC's Wide World of Sports, a remarkable piece of Americana, the legacy of the village smithy. The strong man lives on. Jimmy Payne, master of ceremonies, a former Mr. America, a former champion in wrist wrestling at 175 pounds, in a ruffled shirt, he still has enough to beat a member of the now generation. Strong men, more than 100 from all over the United States, testing each other in the 8th World Wrist Wrestling Championships in Petaluma, California. The Veterans Memorial Hall jammed to the rafters by nearly 3,000 people. And we'll show you more of the excitement from Petaluma, California, in just a moment. Hello, everybody. I'm Keith Jackson. And we are in Petaluma, California, for the 16th World Wrist Wrestling Championship. The first match was held here in Petaluma 16 years ago in a saloon. It was a simple contest to determine who was the strongest man in town. It ended in a draw, a broken table, but a draw. But it started something very special for this community. Petaluma, California is no longer known as the egg capital of the world. It is now known as the world wrist wrestling capital. And as you can see, it has certainly moved out of the saloon. Strong men from all over the United States, more than a hundred of them, here reflecting the agony of competition, because that agony covers both winners and losers. And we have had already some two and a half hours of elimination. There are three weight categories, 175 pounds and under, considered the lightweights. The middleweights are 175 pounds to 200 pounds. And then there is the unlimited division with weights going well beyond 300 pounds. We have millionaires, we have butchers, brokers, we have farmers, we have students. We have men from all walks of life. And the object is to pin the other man's arm down onto this bar. It is tightly officiated. There is a referee there to watch every movement. Elbows must stay down. It is run by a strict set of rules, but in the main, it is pure muscle. And when a man's arm touches that bar, the match is over. Some matches may last a second. Some may go until the arm threatens to fall off. And once you lose, you're out. Until next year. And we are now ready for the quarterfinals in the championship. Bert Elliott from Los Angeles is here to assist me tonight. Let's give Bert Elliott a very big hand. One of the strongest men of our time. One of the men in that first championship match 16 years ago is the referee for today's tournament, Jack Hummel. A trainer with the Detroit Tigers for more than 20 years, now with the Oakland A's, and still one of the strongest men around, they tell me. Keith, I wouldn't like to be in these matches tonight. They're getting bigger and bigger all the time. Jack, let's define what wrist wrestling is vis-a-vis uh, -vis hand wrestling. Yes, well, we've uh, had rules and regulations put to the sport. It used to be any, any hold went. But now we have to straighten the hands up this way. No advantage is taken and so forth. The elbows have to be straight and kept in the boxes on the table. Left hands are locked by the fingers, must stay on the table. The thumb of the right hand is gripped before the competing hand is closed. 
So that it really and truly is a matter of wrist and forearm power. That's right. In the old days, you used to grasp the hand. If my hand was strong enough, I could hurt you before we started. Easy. That's right. So you've eliminated the squeezing contest, and that was done in that first match between well, you and we, the other fellow 16 years ago. We learned years ago, Oliver Kohlberg on a ranch out here and myself went, and we learned we had to have rules and regulations. We tried it sitting down at a table, we tipped the table over, and we called it a draw. So this evolved out of it. And it was also in this Sonoma County area, some 35 miles north of San Francisco, that Ernest Hemingway and Jack London put on some stirring duels on some Saturday afternoons, too. I've heard that, and they must have been great. But we love this sport, and we're trying to modify it, trying to get it. We want it to be in the Olympics someday, Keith. Who knows? Maybe Avery Brundage would like the idea. It's from his part of the country, and after all, a big Russian and a big Czech would be kind of fun to watch, wouldn't it? Right now, let's watch a couple of strong middleweights. Jim Pollock on the left and the striped shirt, and he wins quickly over Paul Ehrman of Concord, California. The factor of anticipation, so important here. You must be ready, and let's watch again as Jim Pollock wins within a tick of the clock. When that referee says, ready, go, if you can go quick enough and anticipate enough, then you don't really need to expend a lot of energy, and Pollock certainly did not. This is Homer Keanu from Hawaii, 330 pounds. We'll see him later. Made the long trip. Standing off stage quietly in the background is the defending champion, Tiny Benedicts, from Livermore, California. Referee is setting now. Jim Dolcini in the white shirt. With his back to you, that's Joe Schuller. Schuller is a butcher from Modesto, California. He's been in the competition the last four years as a former champion. And these are a couple of heavyweights. Jim Dolcini from Petaluma, one of seven boys. Family owns a ranch not too far from the Veterans Memorial Building where the action is taking place tonight. In case you've wondered about left-handers, there aren't any. They decided years ago it would simplify everything. You either wrestle right-handed or not at all. Oh. The arm may come off. Jim denies he's been lifting calves all of his life, getting ready for this. Got a couple of brothers pretty stout. I don't believe it either. And the arm comes up out of the box. And Dolcini loses to Joe Schuller. So the arm came up, and Schuller immediately pinned him. 